Hi guys, this is Demon Rants, and today, well, we're finally here, the 2017 year-end rant. Yes, I'm finally doing another rant video, I know it's been months, it was bloody ages ago I did a proper rant video, because, you know, there hasn't been, there hasn't been really a lot to talk about this year, and, you know, kind of like losing interest in making videos, I don't really enjoy doing the rants as much anymore, but that's, that's going to be a part of the video, but yeah, but first, I hope we all had a good Christmas, sorry there wasn't a Christmas video, but I had a really good time with the family, uh, I got this shirt, finally a Metallica shirt, you know, I've wanted one for ages, and the shirt is a fixer, you know, based off of the song from Reload, you know, it's all about, you know, pins and voodoo dolls and stuff, we've got um, a picture, you know, the art by uh, Pusshead, and Pusshead, you know, he does a lot of um, stuff for Metallica. He actually did the album cover for St. Anger, you know, the Red Fist and everything like that. You'll know what I'm talking about. But yeah, he, he does a lot of good artwork, but I got this shirt and it's got the 90s logo on it. But yeah, so yeah, finally got a Metallica shirt. But yeah, really good Christmas and everything like that. I hope you all had a good Christmas with the people you loved and stuff. But yeah, so finally we're here. The 2017 year end rant, you know, I don't know if it'll upload on the 31st or it might upload on the 1st of January, but it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I have a lot, I have a lot to talk about, but most of it is like personal stuff. So I've got a load of notes here about a lot of the events that happened this year and stuff, because I don't think, it wasn't really as weird as 2016, that was one of the weirdest years in history, but... 2017, 2017's kind of been a bit dull, to be honest, I didn't enjoy it, and I had a lot of problems this year, but yeah, uh, so yeah, we're going to talk about it, so, this year has probably been one of the worst ever for my videos, I'm so sorry about that, like I said, I think I'm growing up and stuff, like I don't really enjoy making videos as much, but if I ever had the ideas, I'll always, I'll always put something out, but yeah, so, sorry for all the lack of videos, this year, I'm gonna try and get some more stuff done, some of the projects, oh well, yeah, 2018, some of the projects I'm gonna do next year, um, I'm going to do a room tour video, it's not going to be in this style, it's actually going to be a handheld camera style thing, so there's going to be a room tour because I'm moving uh, next year, uh, so obviously, you know, we're not going to see the old setup anymore, it's going to be a completely different room, so I thought I may as well do a video in my room, uh, you know, so there's going to be some more Metallica videos, I'm going to be reviewing Death Magnetic, I don't actually own the CD of it, but I'm still going to review it, because it's going to be 10 years old next year, it came out 2008, so yeah, and I guess, um, you know, 20 years, it's going to be the 20, 20 year anniversary of the Garage Inc, the Metallica covers album, Whiskey in the Jar and that, <clears throat> And most importantly, it's going to be the 30 year anniversary of And Justice For All, so I, maybe they'll do something like that, maybe they'll play the album live, or they might finally bloody remaster it and put some bass in it, but I don't know, but yeah, those videos are going to come soon. Uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to talk about the band Fuel, from Metallica Fuel, but no, um, Brett Scallion's band Fuel, I'm going to review some of the albums, because I really like them, the been a good inspiration for me post grunge and stuff but yeah those videos are going to come if you don't like the reviews so look that's kind of like what i want to do but we're going to we're going to see what next year holds you know movies and stuff like that maybe there's going to be some rants but yeah so i've kind of like you know haven't really enjoyed making videos i had a big hiatus because of the exams which they kind of stressed me out so there wasn't any videos from april to i think it was july or June, you know, I, I didn't make a single video from, from uh, April to June, there was no videos, so, but yeah, so, sorry about that, but, you know, I had stress from the exams, luckily I passed most of them, so that was pretty good, I don't have to think about those ever again, I had a bit of technology stress, you know, things not working and stuff, I get a bit, like, annoyed over that, so, that kind of ruined my year a little bit, but I'm, you know, I'm learning to not get as bothered about it, um, other things, finally got a new hairstyle, I, I actually do need a cut, so in the next video my hair should be shorter, but yeah, I've been spiking my hair up, I actually like this style, uh, yeah, other things, relationships, 
had a problem with this girl, I won't talk about it. Obviously I laugh about it now, but that was kind of a bad thing that happened this year. Uh, but yeah, and most of all, one of the best things that happened this year was I went to college. I met new people, uh, some really great people. I'm on the media, creative media production course, it's really good. So maybe there'll be some videos to do with that. I don't know, but next year, 2018, I'm going to try and make it a look, you know, a big year. Maybe a bit of a renaissance, you know, maybe I'm going to like make it, you know, change my channel a bit. I don't know if I'm going to keep the name Demon Rants. If you want me to keep it, that's fine, but, you know, you can recommend some names, but don't say something stupid like, oh, Specky Twat or something like that. You know, actually give me a name for my channel. That will be really helpful. But, yeah, so those were the personal things. It's kind of like there's been hard stuff this year, but there's been good stuff. Christmas was good, so, yeah. Uh, but we're going to talk about the events, because that's obviously, you don't really care about me, you want to hear my opinions on the events and stuff that happened this year. So, celebrities who've died, it wasn't as weird as 2016, where, you know, like, George Michael dying on Christmas Day, and then Carrie Fisher died on Boxing Day, it, it wasn't as weird like that, but there were still some people that died, uh, people that died of old age, Adam West, you know, Batman, uh, from and Family Guy as well. Peter Salis, you know, the British actor. You know, he's, he's Wallace from Wallace and Gromit. He died in his 90s, so I guess he died peacefully. Um, <clears throat> uh, Roger Moore, James Bond, you know, a couple people died. Uh, one of the most saddest ones for me, Chester Bennington from Linkin Park. He hung himself, you know about that. You know, rest in peace, Chester. But, yeah... Um, Helsing 920, Emma, Emma Prevost, uh, Prevost, he died in August this year, I didn't do a video on it, but yeah, I may as well say it now, you know, rest in peace, Emma, because reaction and review, you know, I, I, I kind of had an argument with him once, but he did really good reaction and review videos, so yeah, Helsing 920, he died of heart problems, uh, Charles Green, Angry Grandpa, died of old age, quite a few people died of old age, but yeah, so, some beloved people, I might have missed a few out, but a couple people died and stuff, and, um, an animal died this year, uh, Grape Coon, who, uh, you know, was a, was a little penguin at a Japanese zoo, who actually had a freaking waifu, like, they made, like, a little cardboard cut out of, like, a penguin girl, and for some reason the penguin was attracted to it, so that became a big meme, and, Unfortunately, though, he died in October, but yeah, I, I will have to say something, though. The thing, like, people often compare, they compare Grape Coon to Harambee, because Harambee was the big animal that died last year, the gorilla. But the thing was that Harambee died in vain, though, because they bloody shot him, but Grape Coon was, like, died of old age, because he was, like, 20 years old, and that's really old for a penguin, but yeah. So, rest in peace, Grape Coon. Uh, the memes this year, there's been like them bloody fidget spinners, all this kind of weird crap. Uh, the Lorax was a meme, you know, like, let, you know, let it grow, let it grow, let it die. You know, weird memes like that. Vine died at the beginning of the year in January, so, so a couple memes, they, they weren't as good as the 2016 memes, but they were pretty, pretty weird and stuff like that. Uh, other things, um... You know, 2016 was the year that beloved celebrities died, but 2017 was the year that celebrities came out as sex offenders. Like, bloody hell, it's been shocking. There's Kevin Spacey, who, for some reason, came out as gay around the time that they found out that he was doing stuff with a young boy. So, yeah, I mean, being gay is fine, Kevin, but why would you come out during that time people found out that you're a pedo but anyways but there's been kevin spacey don't mind that i was just messing with my <laughs> button on my trousers but anyway but yeah but there's been kevin spacey harvey weinstein louis ck the guy who made the loud house um john lassiter you know the guy who runs pixar they all came out as sex offenders so yeah and i, I know a lot of people probably looked up to them guys but yeah you know people you know Saying, you know, like, you know, they come out as doing all these crimes and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's been it's been a weird year for that. It wasn't as weird as 2012 and 2013. Those, you know, like, Jimmy Savile and, like, freaking, um, bloody Ralph Harris and, you know, Dave Lee Travis. You know, you know, old celebrities in Britain that came out as pedos. 
But yeah, well, they didn't come out, but, you know, victims and, you know, um, had a lot of evidence against them. So, yeah, but those years were pretty bad for stuff like that. But this year, you know, Kevin Spacey and everybody, it's been really freaking weird for that. And John Lasseter, it's kind of a shame because I love Pixar, so I don't know if it's going to ruin Pixar, but anyways. So, yeah, that's happened. The movies that came out this year... Um, I didn't write I didn't write all the things down as notes, but I just know them mentally. Uh, you know, Logan came out early this year. Um, <coughs> Spider Man Homecoming. I saw it in cinemas. I thought I thought it was decent. Uh, I was gonna say Doctor Strange, but that came out last year. There was a couple Marvel movies. I don't remember. Uh, Baby Driver, probably my favourite film this year, I mentioned in the video. And Star Wars The Last Jedi, which was freaking weird. But if anybody wants to see me review Star Wars The Last Jedi Episode 8, just let me know. Because I have a lot to talk about in that movie, because it was freaking insane. Like, I was in the cinema, like, I was like, what the hell? In some of those scenes in the movie, but yeah. So films were pretty decent, I guess. It wasn't a memorable year for movies, but yeah. But the animated films, however, have been pretty, like, me ranging from mediocre to bloody abominations. Like, you know, we have the good films, like Coco, um, I'm trying to, th bloody hell, like Coco and stuff like that. I'm trying to think of a few, like, Pixar films. We had the bad, like, freaking Boss Baby and that bloody My Little Pony movie that came out. Um, <sighs> Nut Job 2. And then we had... The Ugly, uh, the Emoji Movie, freaking crap, bloody abomination, you know, clearly just made for money, it's full of cliches, and it didn't have an original thought in its bloody membrane, I was going to say veins then, but I don't know, but yeah, no, nothing original about that movie, and it's going to get instantly dated, but yeah, oh yeah, Lego Batman, that was a good movie. But yeah, animated films have mostly been crappy, and the Emoji Movie's going to live in infamy. You know, for the for the rest of time. But yeah, um, the games that came out, also been a crappy year for games. I think Call of Duty World War 2 is pretty decent. I, I still need to play that. But there's been games like Star Wars Battlefront 2 EA, which is just full of microtransactions and shit. Um, the uh, Crash Bandicoot trilogy was really good, so that was a good game. Then we have games like Bloody Mat Mass Effect Automata, which was just like weird. Just like crap games. Overall, not a very good year for gaming either. Very disappointing. E3 was bad this year. That was in bloody June. But anyways. Um, so, serious things. You know, news. Things in the news and everything. Tragedies that I won't laugh at. You know, uh, the Manchester attacks in May. On the 22nd of May. Uh, they were in Manchester, which is the closest big city to me. So that was a that was really shocking for me. I know a, a couple of people I know in life, you know, in college, in real life, were at, were at that bloody, um, you know, terrorist attack. You know, fucking ISIS. I know I dropped an f bomb there, but they deserve it. ISIS is still doing shit. Uh, there's been, you know, um, natural disasters. You know, Hurricane Irma and Hurricane Harvey and all this kind of stuff. I know there was the Las Vegas attacks where a bloody a bloody maniac with a gun shooting innocent people. That kind of stuff happening. So there was a lot of tragedies this year which made it bad. Donald Trump, you know, more corruption in the White House and stuff like that. Donald Trump doing stuff threatening North Korea. Or North Korea threatening him, I'm not sure. Uh, and uh, net neutrality, that was also a big, you know, absolute shit show which happened at the end of this year. Net neutrality, actually I don't know why I'm saying that. Net neutrality is good, that's the thing we need to keep. Which I, th I think, from my understanding... Like, you can correct me if you want, but net neutrality is basically, like, the thing that stops you from, like, paying separately to go to websites. You know, so you're not paying 15, 15 like, dollars, it's American, $15 a month to go on YouTube and $20 to go on bloody Google and all these websites. You know, you, you, you just pay your contract, you know, your service provider, but, you know, net neutrality stops us from paying separately for websites. I'm not really sure, but there was this Indian guy that wants to take it down and... You're a bit of a dick, mate. Just leave it alone. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But as far as I know, it's only a big problem in America. So as far as I know, I'm pretty safe. But since America controls everything, 
it might come over to the UK, so I don't know, but anyways. So yeah, um, yeah, I mentioned the uh, upcoming videos and stuff, I'm going to have a bit of a change, a bit of a renaissance, because I'm going to have like a new, because I'm moving, uh, not very far, I won't, I won't tell you where I live, but you know, I'm going to have a different bedroom, a different setting and stuff like that, room tour, but yeah, so... <coughs> This entire year we've pretty much been like, um, you know, preparing to move into the new house. But next year you're finally going to see it. So, yeah. Is there going to be some major changes in the in my videos? Maybe. If you, if you still want to suggest ideas for videos, let me know. Uh, but I've really been getting into music reviews. You know, my music and stuff. You know, like Metallica and everybody like that. So, you know, I hope you enjoy that. But, yeah. So, overall... 2017, it's still been a shit show, even though it wasn't as weird as 2016, it was still a bad year, it started off pretty good for me anyway, but it got bad because of my exams and stuff, but I just, I just hope to God, I just praying that 2018 is at least decent and stuff, because, you know, after 2018, there's 2019, 2019, and after that, we're getting to the new decade, the 2020s. So, are they going to be any different? I don't know, but I just hope that it's more like the 90s and stuff, you know. Maybe it can. the 2020s are going to be a bit more like the 2000s, but who knows. But anyway, I'm ranting about the different generations now, but overall, there's been all kinds of stuff with celebrities and stuff like that. You know, there's been memes and stuff like that, but yeah. We, life just goes on, and we'll have to see what happens next year. So yeah, so yeah, 2018, some new things to come. Uh, you know, I I wish you all a happy new year. I hope you all I hope you all had a good year with the people you love. Cause I am, um, you know, I made a couple new friends and everything at my college and stuff. You know, I I discovered a few things. I discovered the band Fuel, even though they're not really good anymore these days. But I really like them guys, and uh, yeah. It's just been huge, me at college and stuff. But yeah, I just, you know, we'll have to see what the future holds for us. But yeah, I hope you all have a happy new year. I hope you all spent the time this year with the people you love. I hope you were all safe. Uh, and I just hope you all have a good year and everything like that, you know, next year. And um, we'll just have to see what happens um, in 2018. So, and obviously, I'm going to see what I can talk about in the next year-end video. But yeah, that's pretty much it. 2017 thank god it's over because it's been a it's been a strange year but it's over now so anyway thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the new year and you know that's pretty much it sorry i'm stall stalling for words but yeah i'll see you in the new year plenty more videos to come and uh, stay stay subscribed because you know there's going to be some new projects but thanks for watching guys see you next year peace